happening. He's awake before everyone. Uh, <laughs> you have to remember, like, uh, 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 World War II is Germany, Japan. Captain Crunch, Colonel Sanders, the same. <laughs> yeah, then, and, and then there's Chick Fil A. And then you know why I like Chick Fil A? They don't like the gays. And I say the army for the gay people is fight Chicken Fil A. And and Colonel Sanders and Captain Crunch come kill the gay people together. And you got Popeye. Yeah. <laughs> Popeye is bl- black by himself. <laughs> Ben Carson, if he never got into medical field, nah, he just grew up in Detroit and nobody. Nah, talks ben, about him. ben was a gangster though. He no, it wasn't. Yeah, speaking of retarded would've... people, you know what my roommate said to me what? yesterday? <laughs> you know, he, he we were, there's a commercial on, and he was like, "So is everything at Olive Garden made out of olives?" Is this no. Is this yeah. No. Yes, he said that. Dude, okay. <laughs> so no I got There's no way. Has he been gotta... to Olive Garden? No. Oh, okay. Why I got... would I go there? It's made out of olives. Is he black? Dude, yeah. Dude, I gotta tell you something. Do I know him? When I was on when I was in Turkey We were we went along like the sightseeing trip, like one of the last days that we were there. And they were saying, like, alright, we're stopping at Olive Garden. And I'm like, What? <laughs> and I was like, We're stopping at Olive Garden. I was like, Okay, I mean I guess it's time to eat. I guess I'll get a fucking bread bowl or something. I I don't know. This is strange. It was a literal olive garden. Damn. It was a garden damn, of olives, damn. and you took a tour, and it was the single most boring experience of my entire <laughs> life. Tanya's really learning like you were about dumb. how <laughs> olives were. No, I was thinking in my head. You I thought, 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 thought like, like, they're like, we're gonna go to Olive Garden. You're like, yeah, I could go for some pasta. That seems pretty good. Like, and I was they like, fucking wow, franchising. I, mean. I was <laughs> like, that's that's strange that you'd pick this. I figured you'd try to pick like a local place, try to get some of the local culture and food i was like this is very strange and they show up and i was just like fuck and they're like this is how we this is how we used to get the oil from the olives and then this is how we did it after that and then eventually we started doing this and then this is how we do it now i would have lost my fucking mind the funniest part is probably yale pulling up initially he's like wow this is a real interesting space (laughs) <laughs> is it yeah, behind? Is it behind all this shit? No, when we were pulling <laughs> in, in the back, when we were, we were pulling sit? in, I saw the olive trees and I went, "Oh no!" <laughs> you wanted to go to a real olive garden? Yeah, it was ready for that. It would have been more fucking interesting than learning how olive oil <laughs> is extracted from fucking olives. He was ready. For I the imagine they just squeeze sticks, it. I imagine they just they crush it <laughs> and then they, with a big they, stone and then they fucking how and they, then it drains. How yeah. did they do it the old way? No, that's the old way. They the crush way? it with a big stone. I stopped. I like. I left the tour at that point. Like I snuck oh, into funny. the final place and just waited for everybody. And they're you like, did... "Where did you go? We lost you." Because also, it's Turkey, and I'm sweating all the time. Every single second of every single day that I leave the air conditioned hotel, I'm sweating. Yeah, your body's not designed for that. My body is not Whereas built for me, Turkey. I'm. <laughs> If I lose like forty pounds, yeah, that was a, that's that's yeah, I was like, I was like, easy, we easy. We got a lot of surface area to be talking, motherfucker. Was I get that fucking American weight off? You're before? wearing fucking twelve turtlenecks at, at, at all times. So all time. settle down. Yeah. <laughs> Double XL sweat. That body heat is trapped. Oh, that's crazy. I just imagine like every time I someone tells me something about Olive Garden, I imagine. Uh, Anytime an immigrant comes to the U.S., them going to a mall and being like, "Why always have cheesecake factory here? <laughs> well, it's all cheesecake like this." <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't know that it's a restaurant. They're just like, everywhere I go, cheesecake. Factory. There's so many, so many people, so many people in there for just no cheesecake. No wonder America's so fat. Yeah, he's like, maybe I start small cheesecake factory like 
Small one. Small one. <laughs> and then he's like, this one is all ever. Yo. All these people here for dessert? Yeah. And only one dessert? <laughs> it's, like, it's like chocolate, Charlie Chocolate Factory, like cheesecake, right? You just go watch, and boom, boom, boom. <laughs> and then you watch her make these cakes, dude. Oh, fuck. I love pretending to be an immigrant when I go around. It's you fun. should. We should just record you doing that at random places. Just oh, go places. that'd be great. That'd be a good TikTok. You just confuse everywhere you go. Yeah, just walk into Sam's Club and it's like they're like, "Sir, where's your card?" And he's like, "I have card for pay." You should go to McDonald's and ask to meet Ronald McDonald. Yeah, that's like I have. Secret. Where is Ronald? Ronald? I buy burger. Ronald. I like. I can't do that. I like to see. Manager, just, I want to see manager Ronald. I want to see manager Ronald, yeah. see manager Ronald McDonald. Now, yeah. was just Borat. Yeah, I'm, that's the whole premise of Borat, right? It's just Borat, but without like African Borat. Af- you go to Burger King, and African like, you're, Borat you're, would be fire. You, you go to Burger King, you're excited to meet the king. And yeah. you're just like, oh, where's the king? This is America King here, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, America not burger. Where the king for burger? King Burger, King Burger, please. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah, no, no. He's come Cleveland Avenue, right? Is this America? <laughs> America King? <laughs> the, the it's Cleveland king. Avenue. Am I in Cleveland? Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. understand. This uh, road. For Cleveland, all everywhere you can go from from Cleveland. <laughs> like, sir, can you order your meal? Please? Shoot it like it's a documentary that you're making and where you're informing people, but it's just constantly wrong information yeah. like that. That's I don't understand. Great. Why is it called a Whopper? Is yeah. it not a hamburger? Uh, Why is it a Whopper? In a double Whopper. You must be careful because this is Whopper, and this is also Whopper. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> yo, it's water. It's just water in a container. I no, I was talking candy. about the Whopper, the Whopper candies, candy. you oh. idiot. Yeah. Oh fuck, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I didn't know what he's talking about. I was <laughs> just gonna let it roll. Oh fuck, we forgot. There about could those. be a lot of those, dude. That'd be a good drive-through prank. Like you come back to the drive-through, like I asked There's for a There's a demon Whopper, sketch that we're supposed you... to do. Like you get handled it, and you're like, what is this? And he goes, no, no, and you just like Google like Whoppers, and you're just like, this, this, this Whopper, Whopper, Sour Whopper. whopper? You America have? Whopper. always have too many words whopper. for the same different thing. Yeah. Chocolate, chocolate Whopper. <laughs> I'd like to speak to the Burger King, please. <laughs> please, send the king, send the king. <laughs> <laughs> I want to speak to the king. Whopper, Burger King, King Burger. In, in America, Keep love... calling him King Burger. King Burger. Yeah. <laughs> did you, you fucking the, the, the queen of the dairy? Is that who you want to be? I know there's a big war with the Burger, the king of Burger, and, and the... Ronald McDonald. They have big fight <laughs> all the time. They have armies, right? But, but then, you got, then you got Colonel Sanders. Yeah. How do they have armies when everybody's so fat? Colonel is a uh, thinking guy. He's smart. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then there's, there's uh, General Sauce. They, they, they General fight, Sauce. They fight over the cheeseburgers and he made chicken. He's smart because he's he's think what is different from burger? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he has all the black people. Yeah, his black people are good warriors. He, he make a sandwich, yeah, with the chicken. <laughs> and then but nobody recognized what happened. Captain Crunch breakfast. He there first thing in the morning. He's awake before everyone. Uh, <laughs> you have to remember like a uh, 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 World War II is Germany, Japan? Captain Crunch, Colonel Sanders, the same. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and, and then there's Chick fil A. And then you know why I like Chick fil A? They don't like the gays. And he's like, <laughs> the army for the gay people is fight Chicken fil A. <laughs> and, and Colonel Sanders and Captain Crunch come kill the gay people together. And you got Popeye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Popeye is bl- black by himself. <laughs> <laughs> Popeye's is for what you call uh, crackheads. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, churches. You, uh, yeah. The, 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 the bloods and crips is uh, 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 Popeye's and churches is the same. Is All same the time fight. for nothing. Both bad same chicken. Same fight. <laughs> bad chicken, both bad. Colonel Sanders, number one. You know. <laughs> And Chick Fil A, Colonel Sanders is uh, chicken versus gay. <laughs> and and because, gay. because they ally with uh, Captain Crunch, his first rainbow. You don't know this but, one. But what about Colonel what about Sanders? Uh, wh- white meat. <laughs> Churches dark meat. Dark no meat. Dark no bad. Dark bad. Dark bad. You, ate, you ate dark chicken before? <laughs> you tried before? Greasy. It's like a, a when you hear the train. 
Oh my God, we have to record you. You need to go into a Boston market and ask, what? Hey, this is Columbus. What? 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 <laughs> what? Why? 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 Why Boston? Why what? Boston? This is not Boston. This from. Uh, Why would they let you here? They have no s- respect for themselves. This in Columbus. is temporary. You put for a few days. Show, show, <laughs> show the Boston food nearby. <laughs> well, uh, go to a TGI Friday. Yeah. It's <laughs> Tuesday. Why are you doing this? Why are you open? It's Where not Friday. It's not Friday. <laughs> it's not Friday. <laughs> Every day can Tuesday be Friday. There are rules. <laughs> America lazy because you come the restaurant they say Friday. Oh, that's when I was making cards for Everything. that stupid oh, and then game. You, and then you have Applebee's like, why would it be in the apples? They don't get the. What is this? Send one apples. They don't sell apples. They have. They have a. Uh, 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 no apples, no bees. They have big problem <laughs> Applebee's. They have fajita, no apple. Uh, 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 what is this one? The ca- castilla. <laughs> no, ca- <apple>. <laughs> no apple. No apple. Everything no apple. What about buffalo wild wings? There's no, there no... No buffalo. <laughs> they don't sell buffalo. Everybody lie except... Everybody, I want buffalo meat. I want to try buffalo meat and no buffalo. Everybody Only chicken. Lie. Everybody lie. Colonel Sanders, he don't lie. <laughs> you always gonna go back to him. You know, Chick Fil A, they don't lie. They are good people. You, you good They're at. good people. <laughs> Yo, that would be, that's that's, that's like be. a great idea. It's <laughs> actually we legitimately. That's the next marketing that. campaign for Chick Fil A. They're like, we accept immigrants, and he's like, <laughs> it is good place. We should dress you up as a king from a different country. They're very you, nice. They always say thank you. <laughs> you like say? wear like a really nice African garb when you want to go meet with Dairy Queen. <laughs> Yeah, where, where is and then and then somebody's trying to like interview you, the spokesperson. And it was like, what do you think about them not accepting homosexuals? What uh, what means uh, who accepts who's homosexual? Who, what, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> the homosexual. I, I don't understand this word. Is when uh, two men are sexually attracted to each other and have sex with it. Oh, this is disgusting. Yeah, you I'm, gotta speak up. Put it, they, dogs? Chick-fil-A against this? I love them even more. This yeah. is disgusting. And Why they're like, they're you... like, who accepts homosexuals? Like, no one accepts. Why? What is the problem? Wait, what who do you accept? mean accept? And then they're like, well, we're, we're in a neighborhood with a lot of gay only, pride flags. Only the devil, Where? Only the devil accepts them. That's no, what? it's is rainbow. Rainbow it's, good. It's Happy. A, yes, when, good. When God make the colors, he remind with the rainbow. Yes, he with all the uh, happiness. No, there's a symbolism for supporting gay rights. He's like, no, 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 no. You are thinking no. bad. This one. Yeah. Is, you are no, yeah, not a big no, no. Yeah. You ever see the when it's raining, the rainbow? It's happy because the food is coming. <laughs> the rainbow, rainbow doesn't happen because gay people fuck. Rainbow is God. Gay sex. God very, does not very accept. Nasty. It's, it don't smell good. He's like a, like him taking the angle of he's explaining it to them. Yeah, no, like, you don't you don't understand. Not, I, I, don't I, I tell you, I tell you how. Raising canes. I tell raising you how canes, rainbow. Yeah. Raising canes is the. Uh, the sauce, the sauce is delicious. Uh, the the people from uh, Louisiana, the people there, not very smart people. <laughs> <laughs> not like <laughs> Colonel Sanders. He give you option. <laughs> you can get you can get chicken tender. You can get. <laughs> Chicken meat, breast. you can get the one with the bone. With the potatoes mashed? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Vegetable, everything. <laughs> and, and, and buffet. Colonel Sanders do buffet? They do. But you go raising You pay $10 and then you line. eat until you pass Long out. line. All the people on the line, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> they get they get chicken strip, like three-year-old, That's everybody. It. And they put in sauce. The sauce is no good. <laughs> it's okay. Oh my god. It's no good. But the Colonel Sanders, he make the sauce, same sauce. Everybody <laughs> say he's still. He's not still. Ichiban. Ichiban is like no no, no. Japanese no good. <laughs> no, 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 no. Why no, you support no. their business? Chipotle. No, they eat yeah, no, 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 I don't eat the no. dog meat. No, 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 no I'm okay. No. Because they put they, they put uh, they they cut they bring the cat in front of you. They say, <laughs> they, this one good for you or no? no and they, they say why you why they you eat like they eat a filthy animal. It's yeah, not it's not yeah. good. It's this not is, and they and they the penis is blurry. Why why blurry? <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with their penis? That's why they cannot have children <coughs> in Japan. They have no kids the because all the penis is uh, blocks. Is <laughs> mine put the penis in anything? My, it's Minecraft penis. <laughs> it's it's no good. Bi- it's not Minecraft. That's why I, I no get on computer every mo- anymore. Ooh. Every once in a while uh, it rains when I watch TV and then just Japanese penises 
Yeah, pretty much. Well. Uh, no, he's like, hey, you just go full West African, just in the middle of the interview, like, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I do not support any type of this thing, please. Chipotle? No, no, no. <laughs> don't even go into details. No, 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 no. What about Taco Bell? This I listen. Is it uh, Mexican? This is not good. Please keep it wholesome, please. Yeah, he's like, no, no, they, they're drinking. Uh, you see the mix. Every time I see them, Modelo. <laughs> uh, it's no good. What about, what about no, Papa John's? Uh, Papa John's. I like, he said, good nigger look. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Oh my God. He's just, he's the just, idea of an African immigrant supporting Papa John's. He's like, yeah, he's like nigger, I'm nigger. When he have Shaq, he have Shaq on commercial. He's a very good guy. Shaq, Shaq a good guy. He's a great guy, yes. and he know. If he, he races, he not allow Shaq to buy so much. Why? Because he's good businessman. He know nigger sell pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the name of this episode. Right here. Nigger sells pizza. <laughs> <laughs> nigger sells pizza. Yeah, like, Is that another I website? Can't make that the yeah, name yeah, yeah. I have to put like N star at symbol yeah. hashtag. No, star. do nigger with a K. Oh my god, this <laughs> motherfucker. Nigger with a K. Yeah, just just turn into every one of twenty one savages. Did you want to IG tell post? him what you sent me? Oh, uh, wait, what? When you, when you meant to say that, but you said with a knife. Oh, so he, I meant to tell him, he said, what should I name my son? And I said, you should name him Nigger with a knife. But I meant to say Nigger with a K. But you know how, like, knife starts with a K? I, was, yeah. I, I just did it, all he that explanation in one word. I was like, Nigger with a knife. Name him. <laughs> Oh, he shit. suggested that. I was, I like, to say, I was like, that's knife, but very name, aggressive like, right. as I a just, name. I just, I just, I just, instead of explaining it, I just condensed it all into just one. It sounds like a Paul Blart, uh, like, voiceover. There's a nigger with a knife. Nigger with a knife. See, I, I hate how dumb my brain is. I'm like, Car damn, idea. you ain't named your son yet? That's crazy. <laughs> no, we're thinking about it. Nigger with a knife. That'd Kingston, be funny. nigger with a knife to Willow. <laughs> that's a good name. K N. <laughs> K-N-I-E-G. No, that was that was almost the we were obviously we decided against it, but it was almost part of the name of like dropping in the N word with a K as like the name of this podcast, bro. Yeah, but it's, it was gonna be called nigger faggot, but faggot spelled P H. Yeah. <laughs> N word with a K, and then the, the, problem, with the problem is that like everyone's podcast is about to just have curse words in the title. Yeah, because ours is ass out. You're just gonna be nigger faking. <laughs> <laughs> no, here's the thing. The what I realize is that our podcast sounds like we're just like ripping off Cumtown, but like it I mean, came, it, it, came town. it came from a fucking true story that happened. But there's no way that like it comes across that way. It just sounds like we, we, a, we literally got called the jerk off guys, and we're like, what's in our podcast? That's not bad. There's a lot of there's a lot of Who calls you the jerk off guys? Uh when we were doing that stupid fucking competition, we both submitted sketches, both of them had to do with jerking off. Yeah, and they're like, oh, here I was like, we guy. walked outside and they're like, Oh, that, it's that the jerk off guy. I haven't heard from that guy in a while. Who? Ooh. Andrew Bryant? Yeah, I haven't heard from him in a while. Fuck you, Andrew Bryant. You're a thief and an asshole. He's watching us for sure. He's yeah, not, he's I don't he's care. He's no, a... he would like literally he do said you have that, your like, championship belt? It's in this room somewhere. Hey, in that Tupperware. Open up that Tupperware. So he won the competition. He gave me a championship anklet. Let's light it on fire. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a belt. <laughs> yeah, was a That's what I got for winning the the new comics contest. Yeah, it ain't even inscribed. What the fuck? Actually, it kind of is. No, you got that laser. Right? <laughs> Barely, though. Let me see. And here's the thing. Fairly new comic contest. You can't even fit this around my, oh, wrist. my thighs. No, I wore it as an anklet that you night. You can't even use it as a choker, dude. You gotta fucking... I have to oh. Oh. No, it doesn't even fit around your head. It oh, doesn't you got, fit around you your head. You got that Naruto headband, bro. I know. Trust me, I so badly wanted to wear it Can as a Naruto headband. Can you just wear this on stage next time? We get Just drill two holes and put a fucking string on it? Yeah. <laughs> Can I see? I've never actually got the holes. Let me hold the belt. It's leather, at least. You didn't win. I didn't go. He oh. didn't go to the final round. Why is there three buckles? Who is this made for? I think it's a dog collar. Here, here's, <laughs> here's the thing. I think you bought you a dog collar. I'll, I'll explain to you exactly <laughs> what happened. He no, he made the joke dogs. that, like, oh, I didn't read the size online, so I got this little fucking bracelet. The real story is, I guarantee you, he looked at prices and saw that this was cheaper, and he ordered it. He ordered a well, small one so he didn't have to pay for an actual belt. Even the like, etching is so fucking poor. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Yeah. 
Jeez. Why would he just guarantee? Dude, the, why do you want to know say, like what this motherfucker? The way he disrespected this motherfucker and fucking Katie Humphreys. She told me about the that. first fucking route. Yeah. I was like, I I heard about what he said to Katie after he was already gone. That was worse than what he said to him. The screws are loose. Jesus Christ, this is a piece of shit. So yeah, like I was I was already pretty much done, but like I I agreed to be a part of it, so I was gonna go do the final round and then get out of there, and then. In the final round, he dropped out, Katie dropped out, and I was like, well, fuck, now I'm definitely going to win. So I did the thing, I fucking won, and then he was like, yo, we gotta talk. He's like, I wanna put you on a couple shows, and I just I just ignored him. I was like, I don't want anything from you. And I was like, I, I finished my part of it because I feel like I need to. I started something, I gotta finish it, but I don't fucking want anything from you. You're you're an asshole. And he's like, you treat right. everybody around you like shit. I, no, I didn't say anything. There you go. There you go. That's how you wear it. That's nice. Like fucking. Uh, like Queen. Like it's nice. You guys, Mercury. <laughs> you guys deal. With, you guys deal with all those shitty people, and then I'm just like, yeah, no. You no, didn't I was. Know I was, one I was gonna say like. No, society. no. I I submitted for Nobody a show. Nobody actually watches Naruto. I submitted today, for so a wouldn't... show, and he was like, "You gotta submit a sketch," and I was like, "I'm not doing that." <laughs> Did you, didn't you pull up? And that's like that's the same one. And I was like, "Yeah, I'm not going." Yeah, I just I'm went like, one time, and then remember he was trying to interview us, and we just never. All right. To if anybody that's watching is Naruto fan, he had around his arm like Shikamaru. Okay, thank you. Fucking gay guy, dude. Dude, I don't well, give a fuck. No, no, no. The fights hey. in Naruto are fucking awesome. Yeah, don't wear that. The, don't wear the attire outside. You're just mad because the attire won't fit. No, it, I can get headbands. You, can you can be, <laughs> you can be Choji. Yeah, I'm not. Choji's the fat one. Yeah, yeah, you gotta stop, dude. <laughs> you gotta say like internet. you can't. You can't be a veteran and fucking like Naruto, bro. Uh, you have no idea how many people there are out there. You guys are losing my respect every day, dude. I don't give Lose a my shit. Respect. Go eat Wendy's. If I give the, I if anymore. I give a shit about the respect of a fat immigrant, I'll kill myself. <laughs> I will kill character, myself tomorrow. Uh, me to yeah, how does he feel about Wendy's? Wendy's? Why, why, first off, why you watch this Naruto? You kill him for real. <laughs> <laughs> you, you watch children cartoon? Yeah, yeah. Children cartoon. How does he feel about Wendy's? Oh, it's, oh, it's, 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 it's a woman? Yes. Yeah, uh, why have business? It's just her dad have business. <laughs> Dave, he named it for Wendy, but it's not Wendy. It's Dave. I forgot about the history of Wendy's. This yeah. is this is problem with America. It should be called Dave's. But but the, you care too much for your children. You need to make them work. The liberal... It's not Wendy's. It's not Wendy's. It's Dave's. Dave's. It's Dave's. Dave is good guy. <laughs> Dave, good man. Wendy, lazy bitch. He got, he got Dave and Buster. And he's just talking big shit. He's like, look, five guys, they need five people. Dave, just him. <laughs> Who are the five guys? Yeah, he's like, five guys, uh, like a. Five gang. Mexicans? It sounds homosexual. Like gang. You cannot join the beat like this. They beat you in. And now six guys, but you cannot come. Five guys. You mean number of people my wife cheat on me with? Hey! <laughs> now he's just a stand up comic. <laughs> it's like, it's not gonna be five. It'll be like one, and she's gone now. He stoned it. No, he no, found no, out no, after. No, oh, it was uh, one, and she was stoned. Uh, and then we <sighs> murdered her in street. Oh. Justifiably, <laughs> legally we did. You know what's a funny video you guys could watch when you get Is home? Someone getting stoned at a no, oh. it's it's there's this uh there's this like guy An from, internet reference? from the United Arab Emirates or like uh what are those Middle Eastern countries? Mm -hmm. He comes to the U S to the Cleveland Clinic for a heart operation, right? He he gets a heart operation and he goes to a Fairfield Inn and Suites. To book a hotel room oh, yeah, I mean, for a whole for a whole month, and he's dressed in his Middle Eastern garb, and coincidentally, at the same time, is a Republican National Convention <laughs> in Cleveland. Oh, and he had more than one phone. And he had more than one phone, and he walks up to the head lady. He's like, "I need a hotel room for a month." She's like, "I don't have any." And he's like, "Okay, can you print me off some uh, uh, hotels nearby that I could book?" And she's like, "All right, just wait over there." She calls her sister and she's like, "There's a member of ISIS in here," <laughs> <laughs> and he's calling ISIS on his second phone. It's suspicious. And you know how they talk aggressive on the phone, so she thinks he's like doing hate speech. Like he's like, "Yeah, he thinks he's doing hate speech." He's like, "Honey, I'm okay. <laughs> the operation went well." <laughs> oh, that's what I love about Dude, Arabic. The, okay, so I do you know? Have you ever heard of like Bell Center, Ohio? No. Where's that at? It's fucking in Logan County. Oh, that's your neck of the woods. Yes. Yeah. 
So, you know, a town of, like, somewhere between, like, 500 and 1,000 people in the surrounding, like, city limits that include backcountry roads. And a fucking Indian dude bought one of the gas stations, and everybody in the town was convinced that he was spying for a terrorist network. Why? Because he was rude. Why would you buy a customer service type of business if you're going to be rude? This is clearly a front for a terrorist organization. And I'm just like, for Bell Center, Ohio. You You think they need to collect data and plan an attack on Bell Center, Ohio. I used to have a bit like that. that (laughs) They built a mosque in my town. And people on Facebook were, like, really concerned. Like, yo, I'm scared. They're going in there at all types of night. I'm like, what, what are they going to do in Fairborn, Ohio? Do you remember when they were trying to build a mosque down there 9-11? I mean, Fairborn's a little bigger That's, than Bell Center. I'll be <laughs> honest with you. Whoever, whoever was like, let's turn nine, like the, free, the Freedom Tower into dude, a mosque, whoever dude. did that is the best troll of all time. <laughs> Probably Trump. I guarantee you it was, like, some fucking Mexican. Like, some fuck. This is a guy who's not Muslim at some all. Internet, some internet. Here's the thing. You could propose it again now. And most people will be like, yes, yeah, yeah. yes, United that is the way to go. Yeah. yeah, because Islam is not hate, and that's perpetuating the wrong message. I'm, it's, it's so funny to me, because I, I've interacted with more Muslims than probably, honestly, anybody in this room. Nah, I got you beat, I think. I, maybe. Maybe there could be an argument made for you. Because I got all of North Ethiopia from my childhood. Okay, but and like the Senegalese. two people. You're not interviewing. Them, okay, though. let me. Okay, okay. So you got a couple hours. You're interviewing uh, several hours, <laughs> one to two people a day for a year straight. How many people it, it, a day? Listen, listen, it all depends on what your definition of interacting what is. Of, anyways, what type of battle I'm is saying, this? Who gives a shit? Yeah, I'm, no, that's I'm, I'm saying. I'm, night I, I'm, Muslim just, houses. I, I'm just saying. I don't care about your Muslim status. I'm definitely than the average person. You're more than I've average. had a way than more interactions with Muslims than anybody else. And it's very funny to me to see people like defending like Islam is not hate. And it was just like, they would absolutely be disgusted with the way that the people who are defending their religion they would, act they like Republican they would be disgusting more. they like Republican yes more. they're like <laughs> they love trump yeah they're like no, no, no. all of iraq loves trump yeah no they do <laughs> they love trump really yeah they, dude. yes oh, wow. they think obama's a pussy they love trump and he's black also <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> this is you saying what is he doing dog He's, oh. he's one of us. What is he? The end of the Especially the Kurdish, the fucking Kurds. Well, they're not full muzzies. No, they're, no, yeah, no. They're very westernized, very yeah. Christian. But I'm just saying, um, they absolutely love Americans and like Bush, like George Bush, because like they he kept them alive and stop. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's like, was fucking Saddam Hussein was committing war crimes, and that America put a stop to it. They're like, we fucking love you forever. He was literally just. Murdering them with yeah. chemical bombs. There's like whole segments of the the world that are like that, and they're just hoping like lot like they win the U.S. lottery. They're like, come on, America, come on, <laughs> save, us. <laughs> save us from genocide. <laughs> yeah, every North Korean citizen. Yeah, just like, hey, can you, hey guys... can you fucking? <laughs> How have we not put a stop to that shit? What? They don't have any resources. Yeah, the fuck are we gonna oh, take from yeah. North Korea? North no, no, no. The truth is they're backed by China, and that's a fucking problem that's that a proxy America war. doesn't. Yeah. And we still owe them a lot of money. Don't well, we? that was like the Korean War was just a proxy war in between. China if if and North the US. Korea wasn't backed by China, I would, l- I would like to hope that we would have moved in already. But no, nah, fuck who knows? Because we can fuck them up pretty easy, right? Yeah. Like, North that's, Korea, that's yes. Small, yeah, China, China yeah, that's yeah, a bigger yeah, fucking problem. That's all the the Korean War was, was Chinese people, like a million of them, running at a hill of like 12 <laughs> American guys. And then the American dudes are like, there's too many of them. I can't shoot all of them. That's a funny idea. I like that. No, 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 I like that. I like that. Like, no, it's not an idea. It's not an idea. Oh my God, there's a computer game like that where you can do like... I've seen this. I know what you're you talking know, about. You can do like 15 fucking Marines versus like 3,000 Spartans. Like, yeah, I, mean, I like, love that. The simulator. simulator. No, there's Dude, like... Uh, there's guys who I won like... I missed Deadliest Warrior on there's guys TV. Who won, that was one of the greatest fucking they've, shows. They've won Purple Hearts and their, their whole story he's like... There was like 40,000 Chinese guys, <laughs> and we were just stuck on this hill. <laughs> and like, pop, 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 yeah, pop, 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 pop. They didn't even have automatic guns in the 50s. <laughs> they had a fucking, 
They had a fucking what was the gun they used in World War Two? M1 Grand. Yeah, they had an M1 Grand. I also, mean, they, they had, had automatic guns. Say, they had, they had like MP40s guns. and Dude, fucking they had, uh, there was, Thompson. There was a guy with an M1 gun. Grand for sure. Seven shots. He let him off, and he's like, "Fuck, I have to reload." Well, they had the BAR. We had a lot of automatic guns in the fifties. Yeah, but you know, after you got to reload, and then there's just more Chinese people pop up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's Dude, always it was like Chinese fucking Russia in World up, War Two. They literally had people like following the first guy with a gun because they had more people than guns. When the first guy dropped, the second guy picked Pick up, up the gun, gun and started and start fighting. Shooting. And then Russia there was like so two more terrible. people behind that guy. They have no fear. Oh my god. They have no fear, but the way the Chinese people fought, like, cause, dude, their tactic was literally... We have numbers. They're <laughs> like, nigga, rush them niggas, bro. Like, <laughs> they can't kill all of us. Like, all right, dude. No, no. Oh, fuck. You know, there was that one who was like, I'm going I'm to stay in the back. I'm, 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 I remember I'm, watching... Out this place out. I remember watching that documentary, like, about the Korean War, and at first I was like, oh, okay, interesting. And then they're like, then China came into it. And then it was just all these <laughs> Korean veterans, and they're like, "What? There are so many of them." There was a documentary. There was a documentary I was watching where some girl was talking about her dad who fought in the Japanese War, and he didn't take his life. You know, they're supposed to kill themselves yeah. and surrender. And uh, she said for the rest of his life, he regretted not killing himself. He had a family. Then fucking do it. He still had a family. He had friends. He had grandchildren. She's like, to that day, he always said he was a coward and didn't have honor. And I was like. He Whoa. lived out the rest of his life. You think he was just lying so everybody else, like, kind of respected him? Oh, deep down inside, he's like, yeah. He's like, yeah, I didn't kill myself, nigga. Yeah. Fuck this country. Like, this shit is great, bro. I'm, I'm living, bro. He's like, I'm the only nigga that's still alive out here in Japan. <laughs> oh, how fucked it would it be if he didn't kill himself and then the Americans took it? Because, you know, they they thought that we'd take prisoners and they're like, no, we're going to kill this guy. Oh, Fuck damn. Shit, dude. <laughs> damn. Fuck it. He's like, oh, I'm safe. And they're like, nope. Damn. Obviously. Japanese are fucking ruthless, man. Everybody's that's ruthless. That's your people, man. Everybody's nah, ruthless. They used to cut niggas' dicks off. Everybody's ruthless That's till ruthless. they get ice cream, and then they're just like, mm. "What?" Hey, I was thinking about how America has ice cream trucks, bro. Hold Everybody, on, you're saying if we rush, uh, are you Normandy? saying? No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. I get what ice saying. cream what cures truck? violence. Now, once they get like racism, once everybody gets comfortable, they're like, "Yeah, well, like we we mad comfy as a country, yeah. you know? We got like we <laughs> have ice cream. No, I was writing this down saying, as a premise. You're saying if we stormed Omaha Beach with ice no. cream trucks, <laughs> no, the war, saying, it would have been a whole different. The fact, like, no, he's saying the fact that we have a truck that delivers only ice cream in this country means we're just we've reached a certain point. Like, tell me if you just if they just heard the fucking ice cream truck song. Coming across Normandy Beach, everybody would be like, "Time out, time out." There's a what are we ice doing? Cream is here. The ice cream. What are we know. doing here, guys? What are we even doing here? If what we, what if we nuked <laughs> Japan with like Klondike bars? It think of, think of the two countries that like didn't come out of World War Two that great. You got fucking France and Switzerland. Switzerland was neutral because they're eating chocolate all they fucking day. Had chocolate and all that shit. Chilling in the mountains. And in France, just a whole bunch of pussies with croissants. They don't take showers. Yeah. They hate Americans. It's so weird. Who? French? Yeah. They can yeah. suck our dicks. They're fucking jealous. We they're hate jealous. Them. We saved them. Dude, they're what sucks? They have like a culture of breast reduction surgery in that country. Why? They're going to be cursed by God. Why are they reducing their breasts? Oh, it's the worst. Because they're just like, these are inhumane. Like, ooh, what? Gross. Bro, if you don't let her have Bro, her titties. We should have let Hitler keep that. We got a your boss going again? No, that's my girlfriend. Oop. Oh, so anyway. Yes, my yes was the answer to that. Yeah, Yale. Well, the up, end dude? of that, you got to watch the end of the video of that uh, guy getting arrested in Cleveland. It's so fucking sad and funny. It's it's like, f- he's like, my heart, my heart. Like, yeah, all right, buddy. <laughs> we got we to gotta look into <laughs> it, buddy. He just hit her He's like, my chest, my chest. He's like, all right, dude, let us figure it out. As they're like panting up knees on his back. <laughs> <It's> my heart. <laughs> they're doing like a rough arrest. They throw his phone into the bushes. No, they threw his fucking phones. Like, get them out. Like, they're bombs. Like, get them out of here. And they're, like, looking at us. Like, no, these are legit phones. And then he, <laughs> gets, and then he gets up. And uh, the, uh, the the cop's like, it's all clear. And as they're bringing him up, he fucking faints, bro. Yeah, he played it perfectly. He's like, I, I'm faint. <laughs> <laughs> and he fainted. That's so sad. They're looking at his phones. Like, are they terrorist phones? No, T-Mobile. He's, yeah, he's, T-Mobile. he's good. Yeah, he's got real service. Dude, uh, so at one point when I was working uh, <laughs> over there, I, I had a phone that I would occasionally use to, like, contact people that I had to, like, have come in and, like, talk to them and, like, grill them about shit. And then, uh, without thinking, like, I brought the phone back. It was, like, a Middle Eastern phone, but, like, I brought the phone back. And I was just like, uh... I was like, I think this phone's actually better than my current phone. I was like, I'm just gonna put my SIM card in this and start using this. And then right before I did that, I realized that this phone had, like, directly contacted, like, terrorists. Oh, And I was just like... Yeah, let's throw this away. I went, 
It's not a good idea. I literally was like, I had pulled out the SIM cards and was getting ready to put them in, and I went, yeah, I'm going to burn this phone. Yo, how shitty was your phone? How shitty was your phone that, like, somebody was contacting yeah. terrorists? Yeah, he's like, like, this is a good phone. Like, <laughs> Like, yeah. I can't just burn an iPhone okay. 8 Plus. All right. <laughs> Good phone. Guess what phone I'm holding my hand right now? I don't know. Is that like a Motorola? A, a Samsung A20. Oh, geez. It's not even a thing anybody's ever heard of. That's like the that's a cheaper... It's a phone thing. that yeah. I bought like in cash. It was like $200 and I paid the phone like all at once. Right. Like, I don't, like, I don't do you payments. you sign up, you get two of them for free. Is that one of those deals? Yeah. But my but my girlfriend you has such expensive phones. You open phones a line, that, like, you and three of your yeah. friends get a free phone. Yeah. Right, this shit is a little hundred bucks. This is like the shit that T-Mobile's advertising the hood. They're like, come on down. We'll get Nick, you and your whole family some smartphones. <laughs> smartphones. Nigga, Cricket Wireless, it's a, it's bro. A Hawaii, it's, a, it's called like a Hawaii or a Hawaii fucking... Oh, I used to have a Hawaii. Huawei? Huawei. 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 Yeah, Huawei. <laughs> Huawei. Huawei. <laughs> I don't know. Dude, I've never had to have one. That's the poor people. I've, I've owned, I've owned I used to have one, bro. That shit Sounds sucked. like a fucking Dragon Ball Z attack. Yo, I ain't gonna, Who are you? <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you, bro. There was like, there's a solid two years. Like 2014 to like 2017, the whole hood had Huawei's, bro. They were bro, getting spied on by China. Definitely one that, does it start with the H? Yeah, 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 that's, yeah, that's, yeah, it, that's yeah, it. That's it. I used to have one. No, I was definitely getting spied spied on by him because when I was over there you'd take like a it's like a little mobile internet router yeah, it's a I little get, puck yeah, they call yeah. them hockey pucks and you just carry that around and that supplies your internet to your phone and you just carry that in your pocket that while you so run your phone that is fucking sad that's what we gotta do back home it was awesome too, bro. You gotta the phone that. didn't have internet no you nigga they don't in got the fucking four, middle east you think they got 4G towers right. up nigga fucking chill god damn it no! They're no. having Alu Akbars all the time. Man. Nigga, they're getting bombed all day. You think they can maintain high, yeah, high yeah, end internet infrastructure? Right. You gotta remember, we got ice cream trucks here. They ain't got that shit yeah. over there, bro. You guys remember when the Iraqi war Hit started and we built them fucking a freshwater tunnel? Like billions of dollars, they bombed it the next day. I think they did it on accident. They, they probably thought it was some other My shit. My dad was laughing so hard with the chef. He was like, we just gave him. I remember the legit the whole argument that most of the people I talked to. This would have stopped World War II. Is what you're saying? That's you exactly kidding? what he's saying. He's saying just some guy like fucking you're, barely you're not... able to keep in his truck moving in the sand, just driving <laughs> through. <laughs> no, they would have been on track. They would have been on. You think the Holocaust happens with ice cream? Bro? Come on. <laughs> please, please, everyone, stop! Put down your arm. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what that was. I was waiting for that. I didn't remember what it was. It's the, the most unnecessary thing in that part of the song. The ice cream? <laughs> no, just the hello. The hood ones are funny. That'd just... be so funny, like it's slow motion rockets flying over his truck. Just playing, just <laughs> hey. going, driving on a bumpy fucking bomb <laughs> yeah, road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you just see soldiers like leaning into like. Hello. What are we doing here, guys? Uh, there's a what one guy like, hold your fire! Doing? Hold your fire! What are we doing? Why are we kill Jews? He looks at us. <laughs> we have ice cream. Why? What do they do to us? Why we kill the fierce Juden? Why? Why we do this? One Choco Taco, please. <laughs> one Choco Taco. <laughs> and then an American soldier is like, I love Choco Taco. <laughs> me too, brother. Me too. <laughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> they stop gun pointing at you like, me too. I bro. always crack up with like, those stories that you hear about where it's like Christmas Day and then like the people who are murdering each other like come across the field and join and have like Christmas dinner together and then go back to the separate separate camps and then murder each other the next day. Is that a thing? I, they, yeah. they say stories about it. They, 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 a lot of World War One type shit, the too. The only right? one I can confirm is that they stopped warring in Somalia to watch Maradona play in a World Cup. And, it, and the reason they stopped is because only one tribe had a TV. Oh, my God. <laughs> So they, the people that were fighting, were all sitting in the same house, like high five and like, oh shit, this is crazy. They had to like negotiate. Was it the peace. hand of God here? No, no, no. It was like after okay. he was coked up, but they like negotiated a peace treaty. They're like, we'll come in, no weapons. We get to watch the game. Then we'll go back. And then we get to go back. <laughs> they're watching. They're war- they're watching the game. That's like, fucking like, wild. I just, I just wanted to let you know I'm sorry. Like, like, I'm crazy. That's place. so wild. Dude, soccer, so- maybe soccer, maybe they just throw a soccer ball on a fucking Dude, soccer, field. soccer is so funny the way like it just gathers people. Cause it sucks because it's, it's the only so sport fuck in some funny, places, bro. you know. I remember like when I was a kid back home, we just have like there'd be like the World Cup and we'd be like. It requires the least amount of 
equipment. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Bond, bro. bro, the funniest the fake shit. Gold lines. Or... When the World Cup, which comes, is how I know that no it's one, one of the worst sports. Nah, it's the best. No, it, it's because like it's the best. things that require more effort and like money go into it are automatically better. What, like equestrian riding a horse. Yeah, you're not like no. an equestrian yeah. white. No lacrosse. I'd rather watch real American football than. Nah, football. yeah, it's football. just because you're culturally trained. It's just yeah, that's more, what it it's is. It's more interesting. No, it's, it's not, not that much more interesting. It is. Someone way going, more interesting. No, like I'll be honest. If they weren't such pussies, I I might that's be able to get into it. Yeah, that's just like, soccer, if they weren't so fucking, fucking faggots getting CTE. <laughs> <laughs> if they weren't just ramming each other into each other, like I mean, if they're not, girl. if they're not the most athletic black people running into each other at full speed. Okay, then what about basketball? Is way better than soccer. Oh, don't fucking meh, that It depends. Shit. I watch some boring basketball games. Yeah, yeah. No, the thing that's about WNBA. Every, the NBA is a phenomenal. Every single soccer game is boring. No, because you don't play and you don't understand tactics. Yeah. After 90 minutes and it's 0-0, zero to zero, I'm, I'm I out. I watch some good 0-0 zero to zero zero games. 0-0 zero games are tense. No, listen, I, there are some shit games, but I want, basketball is mad repetitive. How many times are you going to watch a nigga cut to the hoop and do this? How many times are you going to watch somebody uh, pass to somebody... They make it up and the that's field, it. and then, that's the, it. And then go somebody the kicks back. it out of bounds. I don't, I, I don't get that. They kick, and then they kick it over. It's, well, it's the, the thing is, you guys don't thing. play like frequently, so you don't understand the level I, of this. I played soccer for one year in high school, and I was like, I can't do this shit no more. I played all the way up until I had to choose I will between say I was the best shape of my soccer life, and football. You're in your best well, shape yeah, that's when you, you left Listen it when me. it got fun. I'm not saying soccer isn't difficult. I'm not saying soccer doesn't require a lot of skill. I agree. Soccer and requires tactics. incredible skill hold on, hold on. and tactics and a lot of hard work. It's fucking boring to watch. If you don't understand it. sucks. It. I understand it. Understand. I understand the You don't rules. understand the tactics. I Maybe don't I gotta go to a live soccer game. It sucks. No, that it, it sucks is? because we're going to a crew game. Tactics. Like, if you watch someone run the ball up the middle. Let me explain this. Like, well, and there's a good blocking scheme, you enjoy it because you understand the difficulty of implementing a good blocking scheme. You understand the difficulty of the center breaking off. Going upfield, blocking the linebacker. Is that for football? That's I'm talking about football. I'm saying like that's a good play. Someone who appreciates football is like, while someone who's just preferential, like someone who just catches a football game, watches a run up the middle for six yards to get a first down. They're gonna be like, that's nothing. It's boring. But you watch it and you're like, that's a good play. The fucking the the running back cut at the exact right time to draw the linebacker. I'm agreeing with what you're saying. I'm saying still overall, with the exception of like fucking badminton. Soccer is the most boring not sport to watch. Not even close. Uh, okay, no, no, no. I'll give you baseball, golf. Baseball, golf, is like baseball. No, golf is more boring. Golf is more boring. I don't like watching baseball. Is, what about it, baseball? It, what about cricket? Not baseball. Baseball. Uh, baseball solid. Dude. Baseball. Baseball, baseball, baseball in the stadium. Fun. Very fun. On TV, very, very tough watch for soccer me. Soccer in the stadium is great. You call people racist things. You throw bananas at them. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking... I know. These are, these are I now we see like. the real reason why he loves soccer. <laughs> <laughs> you do songs. There was this one guy... You sing songs from the 1400s? Yeah, they just sing songs where they're like... His I would love to see you like... I'd love to see you like walk up to like fans... Who are like yelling racist shit against some I'm African country. And then Texas. joining in. And they're just watching them be like... He's fine. He's good. He's an inter supporter. Yeah. We go to a soccer game with Sam. He's like, I didn't know you were a crew fan. I'm not. Now help me, help me check these fucking bananas. Help <laughs> <laughs> me, I love these bananas from my backpack. Who's, yo, the, who's we, playing? We I'm gotta, chucking bananas like it's fucking Mario Kart. Let's go, that, bitch. We gotta do that in the MLS. Make that a tradition of just us chucking, chucking bananas, bananas oh, at the opposing fuck. team. They're like, that's racism. We're like, we do it to everyone. This no, yeah, is no, treatment. The, the, we did it to Oh, Asian no, we gotta do it to white people. Specifically first. Listen, I, how funny would it be to, like, set up a thing with, like, us where, like, somebody bombs on stage and then somebody else throws a banana? Let's do it Friday. Y'all oh, gonna do it so much to me. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> 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 so much to me. <laughs> We're gonna be like, damn, Christian, thanks for bombing on purpose. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I planned that. It was, it was like, yeah, I didn't try writing those. <laughs> yeah, 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 I didn't try to engage with those people in no, the no, audience no, and no, realize no. they're not interested at all. We should do it if someone's having a good set. <laughs> <laughs> Start throwing bananas yeah, at people. Just throw a fucking. Uh, you know what? You know what? No, Trish is gonna kick us out. You know what? You know what made me happy is that on fucking <laughs> last night. I went on stage in a Carhartt and got a fist from a dude that was black as hell in a fucking Baltimore hoodie when I got off stage. Oh, he's from Baltimore, though. And I was like, he knows the value of a good Carhartt. <laughs> <laughs> They're just hardworking people. <laughs> no, it's cold up there, bro. And I was just like, like, yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm funny. Was that a 42 chest? <laughs> 42. 
<laughs> Carl Hart, 40 40 T. Yeah. 40 T. Baltimore accent. I, I, Baltimore accent's hard. I can do like funny. a Philly accent. Baltimore, Baltimore accent is one. very fucking hard. Oh, it's like Tuesday. You're funny. Tuesday. I can't do it. You, you funny. I can't do it. On thing. the avenue. On the avenue. It's hard. It's like a like a mild. Yeah, I can I can do a pretty good like Philly accent where they talk about boners and blowjobs yeah, and shit. I can I like this. This is just <laughs> I, I like that's that. that should be your normal voice. It should be your. Are normal. we that's throwing that's bananas? Are about. we throwing bananas on Friday? I mean, we should all throw them at uh, Xavier. That's racist. We're talk- <laughs> no, it would be actually everybody would be on board and be really funny if when I was on stage, you just we threw man you fucking threw it. I'm gonna. Uh, hey, don't forget to edit this part out. Me, it's like if I just like I I was on stage and then I just like bombed a joke and you and just you go don't. and you just start throwing fucking bananas. I thought you were gonna say you're gonna put on your clan hood. That would have been really fun. And I was like, what the fuck did you just call me? No, it's just so much more funny for you guys to call me that. You know, and you have to do an early set when like the audience is still there. And dude, we're gonna Trisha's not gonna prove that. Not no, dude. It doesn't you think matter. We care about her institution. You, it's three. It's three. She doesn't care either. It's just all those faggots. Listen, they're not it's, gonna be there. We'll just get a lemon. It's two black people between the three of you and Halima. Throwing it. Yo, number four, Michigan just lost to unranked Seton Hall. We care about college basketball. Suck it. They're number four. That is a crazy. Is that basketball? Yeah. Basketball. It's college, basketball. college basketball is it's, it's early right now. Too. It doesn't matter too yeah. much. They just lost to a team they should have blew out. That yeah, niggas was piping out white bitches last night, bro. They don't give a fuck about. Season, bro. He makes a good out. point. They can't be expected to focus on sports yeah, right bro, now. Yeah, they're. We got some bitches out there, bro. Bro, it's not bro. even serious basketball season yet, bro. bro basketball bro. doesn't start till t- January, really. They tall and shit, bro. They just got all the. They just pick up bitches. But do you imagine how cum deprived you'd be as a college athlete? Like, at a oh my one? god, dude! You'd I've heard co- stories from like OSU so football it's all, players, the amount bro. of like workouts that you're putting in, and then partying, and then fucking like well, you're just constantly party, tired. They just fuck though. Like that's it. They just fuck like three times a day. Damn, that's a whole day. No cum in your just body. Just invite a bitch over. You'd be so clear headed. No, that's why some of them go to the hit- league. You know. They get hit in uh-huh. the head. That's why some of them go to the league. You know, they got no, their bite. Have you ever been like in the situation where like, like you've you fucked like a, a couple girls like recently, and you're honestly exhausted, and then like a much better prospect like comes up, and you're just trying to be like muster up the strength to be able to fuck her. You just think of describing my entire sex life. It's just me trying to muster up the strength. To for the first one? The first one. <laughs> for the first one. <laughs> the first one. Yeah. Like, well, you could have fucked last week, bro. Dude, Gary literally told me when he was in college, he fucked so many girls on one day, and the last one he couldn't come, so he spit on her back. <laughs> <laughs> That's another bit of mine. He spit on her back, That's and then wiped, he wiped it off like my bad, so she couldn't tell, and he's like, I'm, ooh, that was a good time. But he, I think it was for his birthday, he fucked like four girls that day. My bits are becoming real life. Nigga, I couldn't do Matt more than one and a half. <laughs> one and a half? Who's that? Two one, a midget. Two bitches <laughs> in the same day? That's a lot. The half is him driving over to her house. Dude, you know what's like, sad? Fuck. Samson's only 24. Like, that sucks, dude. Like, you're, like your life is already, like, mostly it's over. over. Like, it's you're over. acting like you're fucking 35. Why yeah. would you want to fuck multiple women in a day? Nigga, That's literally. the dumbest question literally. that any literally. man has ever asked <laughs> any other man. Some people have a high sex drive. You just don't Y'all tripping, you know? bro. I'd split them up it's seven days in a week. Listen, listen. Some people okay, let me put it to you in terms that you'll understand. Why would you want to have multiple slices of pizza in one day? They're number one. Yeah, they're delicious and amazing, and you love them. And you don't. And have they to, make you happy. You don't have to talk to the pizza. You don't have to get Ubers for. The Dude, pizza. listen to me. Do you think do you think D one college athletes have to fucking talk their way into this pussy? But they have to like say like you know like courtesy words like hey how are you doing? <laughs> See this is the problem is Welcome. niggas niggas have more enough energy to do that. You don't don't have know, actually, I'll tell you this, Gary. Actually, I don't think anybody I know could pass this. And he his girlfriend vouched. He fucked this girl seven times in one day. Came every single time. <laughs> That's fucking. Oh, wait, Come on, old, dog. How old was he? How old was he? Listen, I this fucked my 17. hand and came every young. time seven times in one day. Easy. I've with done that girl, before. That's fucking. Awful. No, not with a girl, with myself. 
There's no bust way that seven nuts in one day. I don't day. think I could bust seven nuts in a day. I'd be like, Easy. how do your balls regenerate? It was my house. Do you, do you want to know what it was? Why? That's rough. Because I watched Forty Days and Forty Nights, that Josh Hardnett movie where he tries not to come for Forty Days and Forty Nights, and I thought I was gonna do it, and I got to day twenty three. And oh, by man. that day, like, every time I stepped into the shower, my dick was just rock hard. <laughs> and I'm literally, like, I just, like... Just ready to go? I, like, I can't... Cl- I can't clean my dick. Because, like, grazing against it is just, like... It's, like, sh- vibrating. Because I did this when I was, like, 17. Oh, that's so, a tough... Oh, yeah, you dude, were back that's a tough dude, time to do a no I'm telling you, like, bro. now 40 days would be fr- 17, 18, easy. 19, maybe I could fuck I made bad. I made it 23 days, and then here, I was literally, it. like, in the shower, and I was, like, cleaning it, and then I just, like, grabbed it to, like, fucking move the soap along it, and then, like, three strokes of that, <laughs> and it was just, like... Like it shot violently against the shower wall. Was that your stomach? What? Who was that? What was that? Is that you? What? Was someone? Bro- I heard it. That was you, bro. What happened? Just heard. Oh. It's one of, his, one of his stomachs. Yeah, I think, it was like, <laughs> I think it was your body. Like I need carbs, nigga. I mean, stop with that gay shit. <laughs> how, how many stomachs you got? I got one stomach. It's just a real big. I have the fucking Texas of stomachs. <laughs> the Texas of stomachs. Yeah. It's racist. It doesn't like. <laughs> it just it just started letting non-white it skin. Is <laughs> it is, Damn. it is pretty pissed off. What's, what's the My body's not adjusting. We're we're way past what we need. Honestly, we can probably turn this into two episodes, which will buy me nice little time. So that way, I don't have to fucking. Uh, I mean, what's the hour at right now? It's eleven twenty-six. We started like what nine thirty, something like that. No, yeah. we definitely started. I got here at nine thirty, so it's probably like nine forty-five. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, we can definitely wrap this. Bitch Are up. we calling it right now? All right, everybody, looking at the Do you camera. want to say something else like racist? One more racist topic, and then close it out. Um, I hate Somalis. Uh, it's uh, okay. Hating Somalis and just hating Halima is different. I kind of want. I kind of want us to do a, a like a show. I, I want us to like hijack a shrunken mic and just turn it into a show, kind of, and then what do you mean? just have the lineup be. Oh, Us? dude! If you want to do that, do it on a Monday because Tucker will be down. You know no, no, he'll no. be we, down. We for finesse. Whatever. We finesse. We find a way to tell. Uh, what's his name? Xavier. Xavier. We're like, hey, listen, all right. So the first five have to be these people because I'm taking them all out to a show at this place. We got to finish uh... early. Then we advertise the show at Drunken Head, and then we do it, and then we're like, all right, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, good night. And we all walk out. And and then like, everybody leaves. Everybody leaves. And That's it's, hard oh, to do. That uh, no, I don't want to do that to that Xavier. Be, not Xavier. The rest of the lineup would be so funny. No, but here's the thing, Tucker. Like Xavier would be like, I don't, I, I can't want to do that. But Tucker would think it's so funny that he'd be down. I'd rather do it on a Monday. Yeah, but Monday is like it's not. No one else. Is there. I. Right, it is to, funnier to do it on a Friday. You're supposed to be saying that. something racist, by the way. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good uh, point. Oh, let's steal that nigger Xavier show. <laughs> <laughs> That's only yeah. racist if I say it. I can't really. compete with that. Oh, yeah, Technically. I'll be talking to my friend. I um, Japanese people are slowly dying out, and uh, it's not a bad thing. Good. You know? Good. Hell yeah. Sorry. PlayStation. They can't sorry. reproduce with true. blurry, blocky genitals. It's happening to China, too. We need PlayStations and stuff, dude. The pro- China's like, because of the one child policy, everyone there is just like. Not getting pussy now. Yeah, it's like they like they have like restaurants where it's just like women in skirts walking around. It's like driving the men fucking. Thirty percent of the men there are never gonna have like a wife and kids or like a girlfriend. Wait, even. what? Because the one child? Because the one child policy, everybody had a son. You just can't fuck nobody. No. Oh, because there's a for there's every one girl, school. there's three men in the same age bracket. That's. Yeah. So there's like 30%. Isn't there like a thing where like Chinese people are marrying like Africans? Or rape something? has to be off the charts in China. They have like just sex dungeons. And like Shenzhen, the outer parts. Yeah, no, like a lot of fucking, uh, like people, women that escape from North Korea are just like instant like, prostitutes. They escape into China and they're just sex slaves. Like they get sex trafficked. Like, and they're willing to accept that because it's so much better than being in North Korea. That is sad. It's a bunch of small Chinese dicks, dude. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do? It's not like it hurts. Yeah, what are you gonna fu- do? After fucking six Chinese Oh, it, like it feels so good. Oh. The wildest uh, porn I watch right now is uh, called Asian. Have you ever seen? <laughs> Nigga, hold on. You don't. Do you 
Asian street meat. Oh, Asian oh, street meat. Hey! Yo, it's so wild. That shit is crazy. That's it's so it. wild. Wait, what? Oh, you never seen Asian right. street meat? It's wild because it's do like, tell. He don't be watching porn like us. This is a British guy with a huge dick. Fucking these like Thai girls and you can't you just see it into their body. Yeah, well they're women, they're rare. but like you see them. No, they're you they can tell, handle. You that can that tell by their face, dude. They're so it's like he's like it's like spirits. no no no. I'm I'm telling you right now that in Thailand the fucking if it's a gorgeous woman it's on om- it's most likely born a man. No, 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 their vaginas are real. You can tell by their. Dude, bodies. It's like watching a cucumber split like a chicken cutlet. Oh, fucking yeah! Like, you just like, <laughs> I don't understand the physics of it because he puts so, his so. whole dick in there and you're like. There's no way that like, fits. That's ah, ah. <laughs> so funny. Actually. So what? Uh, so wrong. With nah, the right. He fucked nah, the shit out of this girl on the nah. roof. Oh, oh, dude, me. the anal scenes are just like, oh, those poor fucking girls. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. We doing anal with yeah, Asian? Yeah, you can't do that, bro. Deep, bro. Splitting them in half. In like half. Firewood. So you don't jerk off to these. Dude. But no, doesn't he, doesn't he say something like I'm? Doesn't he say something like I'm paying for the tuition or some shit? Like he's not a good dude. No, he's terrible. He's a fucking he's awful. Paying dude. For the porn industry is all fucked up. He's paying. Well, at least he's like. He's just paying. Well, who's the guy that does that black casting couch, but he just talks shit to the women? Oh my god, that's He's so like, funny. You're the ugliest girl we've shot all year. Yeah, like hon- honestly, we'll probably delete this, but I mean, you can try, but you're kind of ugly. So like, it's just like <laughs> Jesus Christ. Those casting couches are wild. He's like, hey, you fat pig, we're gonna fuck you today, I guess. Do y'all be jerking off to that? Like, no, I laugh. I laugh. I laugh, and I, uh, I, I'm trying to work this out as a bit, but I find it very funny the very mean porn thumbnails <laughs> where it's just like fat, ugly pig. <laughs> gets destroyed and it's just I laugh at the idea of like did she know that that's what she was filming when she showed up to work that day or did she find out later when she's like hey John what's the name of my video I want to see how it turned out it's like oh it's disgusting fat bitch gets fucked like the animal she is and she's like oh that's so (laughs) sad She's She's like, like, so you what, told me I was for a, filming a stepson scene. She's like, what, so what, is this, what is this coming out on? Oh, you're on Trailer Trash Part Volume Two. <laughs> what? Dude, there's Damn. some wild, there's some wild porns out there, dude. The ones that they produce. There's one called Desperate Amateurs. I wish we could watch porn. Desperate so. Amateurs is so funny. Where it's just like, please, I need people no, to watch me fuck. It's, please, it's, please it's watch one, me is, fuck. Is please. One, like Habib Show or some shit. That's Habib another one. That <laughs> shit is. Funny. Habib Show is lit. That shit is funny, bro. <laughs> The Habib show where the girl was like egging the guys on. She's like, "You ain't even fucking me, nigga!" Like, she's, <laughs> she's getting pissed off. And then, and then they brought in, they brought in this guy from Louisiana, and he's like, hitting her, he's like, he was like fucking her hard, and all the other guys were like, "Yeah, yeah, you yeah. were talking shit, yeah." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so gay, the hilarious. It's so like, good. Yeah, my boy's fucking the shit out of you. <laughs> you was talking shit on me. You weren't even ready for you this know, dick. Yeah, you about to come, ain't you, bitch? <laughs> you know how Stupid sad it is? You know what sad is? The dude who got subbed <laughs> out for the better dicks on the sideline, like... Was, he's just over there like, damn, I, I couldn't good. do that shit. Like, I, w- I thought I was... He was doing it after, like, a press conference. Like, I thought I was a coach. I don't know what happened. I was hitting the right angle. Po- post-porno press like, conferences. Oh the Habib show I wild, mean, dude. listen, uh, I know I'm, I'm not quite as skilled as him, but, you know, I just stick to the fundamentals. You know, I was dude, working yeah. on... The I was he, working on the Cunnilingus. Great. Coach I was gave working me a on staying in the box. He's like, listen, I warmed it up for her. You know you know how you, like, open the jar? I got it started, you know? I I know my role. Listen, I stay in the box. But I, I stay reason. in the box. I <laughs> work in the paint. <laughs> I, go, I drive to the rim. But there's a reason they called Darnell the goat. It's not about. I'm cool being his backup. You know, he's a mentor to me, a coach. I'm and, a starting uh, pitcher. He's the reliever. You know. You know, uh, you know. I mean, as long as the team got the win, you know, I'm good with it, man. I'm yeah, good. I came in there. I, I, you know, <laughs> what you got to do is you got to come in there and take four fouls off the jump. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta let them niggas know your intentions. <laughs> I came in with the game plan. Obviously, the defense had a different thing going on as far as and uh, you yeah. know I'm uh you know but luckily Darnell you know he uh, got a triple double and uh, we're we're here now so. And Darnell had it easy because he was hitting it from the back. I was going missionary. That's hard. A triple yeah. is a triple double in porn. Just having a three way with two fat bitches. No, nah, that's oh, that's, okay. a, that's <laughs> pussy anal mouth. Bro, f- ATM. Mm-hmm. No, this is ass to mouth. The wildest Habib show one was when he took them out to a club, and then the the one of the girls oh, started fucking the guy at the club. <laughs> That's off the chain. Was it George Floyd? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Which is the crazy thing that isn't talked about enough. A goddamn hero. A goddamn hero. A true American hero. We're signing off. I'll this is honest. the Jog Podcast. I forgot what it's George Floyd. <laughs> R.I.P. Rest in pussy. <laughs> 
Alright. R.I.P. George Floyd, a goddamn pornographic hero. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a fucking wrap. Let's go jog. Uh,